Hi, my name is Scott. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. I actually, as I've mentioned before, my family are collectors. Um, I purchased, I did what collectors do. I collected some items. Uh, there was a, a local auction going on. I purchased a miscellaneous lot, purchased several lots. Um, for those of you curious, in total, I spent um, $72 and change. That includes all fees, um, taxes, uh, for the cost of the items themselves, um, dealer's fees, everything. So $72 and change. Um, let's just jump into the items and see what we have. Uh, the first, the, the largest part of the items was actually a lot. It just said miscellaneous. There was one item that I'll save for last that I was most excited to bid on. The rest of the items, it was just a grab bag. I didn't know what I was getting. Um, several of the items I, I, you couldn't even see in the, in the photograph online. All right. So um, one of the first items was this a handy a handy set auger bits in Irwin bore case. Um, it, it's just an, uh, a set of antique or vintage auger bits. The bits were not in the photograph. It was the only thing that was in the photograph was. The case itself, which opens up, and there are collectors for this type of item online. Um, all of these items, at some point, I'm going to place online, um, even, even the largest that I like the most, and I'll go into that at the end. Um, these were just things that I find interesting. Um, I'll just hang on to them, enjoy them, put them online. When they sell, I'll pass them on to the next collector. This is a, it's a tin. Um, the only information I could find on it was it's a tin by Daher, Daher, D-A-H-E-R. It says ye, uh, ye Old Village Shop. It's just an, a vintage candy tin. And there are, there are collectors of, of tins online. Um, this is just a vintage brass base of an oil lamp. It has, the only marking that it has on, on it, and I couldn't find the information, it says Victoria on the lid. And on the base, it does have a stamp, but I can't really make it out. If anyone can or has any information, feel free to share in the comments below while I'm uh, talking about the comments below. Um, if you have any suggestions for the channel, any information about the items themselves, um, feel free to post. I'll definitely be looking to, um, to, um, and communicating with anyone that does post. Um, the uh, uh, And like and subscribe if you care to. Um, here's another item. This actually, in the photograph online, to me, there was a, there's another item. And the combination made it appear to be a bedpan. Or not a, a, uh, either a bedpan or a bed warmer, I should say. Bed warmer, not a bedpan, a bed warmer. However, this is clearly not a bed warmer. I did not know what this was and had to do a little investigating, investigating online. This is, and it's stamped on the bottom. It says, um, supposed to be made in Italy. And it says lion on the top also. It is a, uh, it's a butler's ashtray. It's a silent, a silent butler's ashtray, a silent, silent butler pan. It's for, you know, sir, may I, something that obviously, as you can tell by the background, I have no use for <laughs> because my house is full of nothing but dust catchers uh, and I don't smoke. Uh, let's see. This is called a honing rod. It's similar to a barber strap. It's used to sharpen um, knives and whatnot. This does have another, oh, excuse me. This was, the, this was the item that was marked Lion. The, um, the Butler Silent Pan was not, was not marked. Um, anyway, I just thought it was an interesting piece. But th that was actually the item in combination with the, with the, uh, 
with the ash can that I thought was a, a bed warmer. This, while unmarked, is an antique pair of opera glasses. I guess some, some uh, people might call them field glasses for birding. And they open up just ever so slightly. And with my giant meat hooks of hands, you can, see, you can definitely tell the size, how, how dainty or petite they are. I may actually put these in a lot with the, um, the binoculars that you saw in another, another video that were gargantuan. They were probably a third, uh, uh, a third larger than an average size pair of binoculars um, that were field glasses, also uh, vintage or antique. But just I thought the comparison of the two uh, was interesting. Uh, the, the last item in the tray... It was just a simple try of uh, miscellaneous items that I bought. Uh, and I probably will just, I might throw this in a yard sale. It was a, it is a, um, a camera. You place it outside uh, for, um, the name is escaping. It's to capture uh, wildlife. It'll take a, take a photograph. Everything is moved to digital. This actually uses a roll of film. Um, and it's done on, it has a motion sensor in it. The batteries were left in this, they corroded. Um, I could, I could probably put it online and ask for, uh, for parts, but in all likelihood, I'll just throw it in the yard sale. Uh, one of the last items in the, the auction that I bought was a 1938 stamp album. It's actually, it says, if you, um, I'm not sure if you can read it, the International Postage Stamp Album, Junior Edition, fully illustrated from the Scott Stamp Company in New York. There are many of these online. Um, what I did, all you could see was the cover. I had no idea if there were any stamps or not. It turns out there were hundreds upon hundreds of stamps in this. I stopped counting at about 600, and I was probably a third of the way through the book. Um, one of the things that I found most interesting, or two things that I found really interesting about this, was um, the number of countries who have subsequently changed their names. For example, Thailand, which is very close to my heart, is listed in the book as Siam, <laughs> which not a big deal, just interesting um, piece of history. The other were the number of stamps from the 30s, and I didn't think about this beforehand, it's just, again, history, um, both in Germany and Austria that had um, swastikas or actual images, probably 10 or 11 stamps in the album of just Hitler. Um, at least one that I saw of, of a swastika. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a part of oral history. Hadn't considered it when I purchased the book. Um, and I would open... I'm hesitant to, to open it on camera because of the age of the book. Um, lots of the, the... Apparently, they used tape um, to mount the, the stamps in place. And because of the age... It became brittle, the glue became brittle. A lot of the stamps have fallen within the album. Um, I don't know that it has a great value other than um, historical or interest. There might be a few stamps. I'm not, um, I'm not a huge stamp collector. I do have a number of, of albums, and uh, um, but it's more of a passing hobby. Um, I, I'm not going to explore each stamp within the album. I did go online and look for uh, the most valuable stamps. Um, uh, I think there's one from Prague. It's Hadric Hadriconi, Hadrini. Uh, obviously, I don't speak the language, but there is a stamp that is very rare. There's one in the book that is um, similar, I don't know that it's the most valuable. It's probably 
the year before, the year after of the reissue. But it's interesting. It's fun to look at. It's, again, a piece of history. Um, the last item, for me, was the most interesting. Um, I worked for a time during university at a number of movie theaters. I've been an assistant manager, a concessionist, a projectionist. Um, I studied film in university. The, uh, this is just ties into that. I have a couple of projectors that are old. Um, I have some old cameras. When I saw this, I knew I wanted it just to stick it on my shelf for the time being. Um, I have tested it. It does work. While most, um, many of the, of the items like this that you see online are missing parts or they don't work or the bulbs are missing, this does work. It is functional. Um, all of the wiring, everything, the vents on top are intact. The lenses are there, but it is a mirror scope also called a magic lantern. Um, if you can imagine before film projectors, um, the, you know, what we know is, you know, the movie theater experience. Now there was a time where most of us have, have an image of the Nickelodeon before the Nickelodeon. You might've seen an old film, like a Western, for example, where a traveling salesman comes to town and he has a, throw up a tent and he would show images using a device similar to this. These have been around for since the 16th century, um, 250, 300 years. Um, what would happen is in, th in this one, uh, using electricity, I'll put it up here, a, a slide or a postcard, a photograph will work. Um, it fits into this little square here. It is held in place and via the two bulbs that you can see on the inside, it is reflected through the lenses, through the front, much like a, an overhead projector that you might've seen in school. It would simply project an image onto a screen or a wall and magically transport you, thus the magic lantern part um, to, let's say you're an Ir Irish immigrant, you might see an image of Ireland. Uh, you're never and probably in your lifetime gonna have the opportunity to go home again because the voyage took so long and was so expensive. This is just a way of seeing things that Again, before, before the movie projector, before the Nickelodeon, there were items like this. This item dates to about 1913. It is, um, this is called, the brand was called a mirror scope. It's from a company out of Ohio. I believe it was the Buckeye Corporation. Um, but a fun piece and really, really uh, both interesting. Uh, draws the eye when it's on a shelf and Again, because of my personal history background, working with, uh, with film um, tangibly, uh, I, uh, I just couldn't, couldn't let it sit in an auction without bidding on it. But I think that has everything. I'm, I'm caught up on all my personal auctions. Let's jump back into the, into the, uh, the ongoing series of opening boxes from, uh, from two estates that closed, sadly, my father and my brother. And uh, getting into some boxes today that I haven't touched for at least eight years. All right. Thank you for joining me. Let's jump into the next video.